In an unprecedented effort to combat malaria, a disease that claims the lives of over 600,000 people annually worldwide, Kenya is preparing to release genetically modified mosquitoes. This initiative strategy led by the Kenyan Medical Research Institute in collaboration with Imperial College London aims to drastically reduce the population of malaria spreading mosquitoes. But how exactly will these tiny, genetically engineered warriors work? The science behind this initiative is both fascinating and revolutionary. The GM mosquitoes are designed to carry two specific genes, a self-limiting gene and a fluorescent marker gene. The self-limiting gene ensures that female mosquito offspring do not survive to adulthood, effectively curbing the population of mosquitoes capable of transmitting malaria. The fluorescent marker gene, meanwhile, allows researchers to identify and track the GM mosquitoes in the wild using special red light. Here's how it works. The GM mosquitoes are bred in laboratories and lay eggs containing these genes. When released into targeted areas, these eggs hatch and the resulting mosquitoes mate with wild females. The genes are passed on to their offspring, significantly reducing the number of adult females over time. Unlike traditional methods that aim to control an ongoing outbreak, releasing GM mosquitoes is a preventive measure. The Acting Deputy Director of Research and Development at the Kenyan Medical Research Institute, Dr. Martin Bundy, explains the same. Releasing genetically modified mosquitoes over several months can reduce the number of a specific mosquito species, such as Aedes aegypti. Reducing numbers of mosquitoes that can spread germs can help reduce the chance of an outbreak. Kenya is not alone in this high-tech fight against malaria. Djibouti, a small nation in East Africa, recently deployed a similar strategy to combat a surge in malaria cases. Once on the verge of eliminating malaria in 2012, Djibouti faced a dramatic rise in cases with over 70,000 reported in 2020. Facing a resilient mosquito super species, Djibouti turned to bioengineered mosquitoes equipped with self-limiting gene. Tens of thousands of these mosquitoes were released to mate with wild females, effectively introducing a gene that prevents female offspring from reaching adulthood. This approach, although still in its early stages, represents a bold and innovative step in the global fight against malaria. While the potential benefits of GM mosquitoes are substantial, there are also several concerns that need to be addressed. The introduction of GM mosquitoes could disrupt local ecosystems, affecting species that prey on mosquitoes and potentially leading to unforeseen ecological consequences. Additionally, there is a risk that the genes could mutate over time, or that mosquitoes might develop resistance, reducing the long-term effectiveness of this approach. Public acceptance of GM organisms is often mixed with fears and ethical concerns about genetic modification. Ensuring informed consent and transparency is crucial to gaining community support. Robust systems are needed to monitor and verify the impact of GM mosquitoes, which could be challenging to maintain. Furthermore, the technology is in its early stages and effective regulation is necessary to ensure safe and responsible use. There are also concerns about the potential misuse of this technology for bioweapons. Despite these concerns, the potential for GM mosquitoes to significantly reduce malaria transmission is a compelling reason to explore this technology. Kenya's collaboration with Imperial College London represents a critical step forward in this global health initiative. As other African nations like Uganda express interest in similar strategies, the fight against malaria could see a transformative change, benefiting millions of people across the continent. In the words of Dr. Bundy, it is important to embrace new technology that can assist in controlling malaria. As Kenya prepares to release its genetically modified mosquitoes, the world watches with bated breath, hoping that this innovative approach will finally turn the tide against one of humanity's deadliest foes.
Kenya's bold move to deploy genetically modified mosquitoes in the fight against malaria exemplifies the innovative spirit needed to tackle global health challenges. While the journey is fraught with uncertainties and risk, the potential rewards are immense. This pioneering effort could pave the way for a new era in disease prevention, not just for Kenya, but for the entire world. As we await the results, one question remains. Could these tiny, genetically engineered insects be the heroes we've been waiting for? Your perspective matters. While our focus remains on Kenya's innovative approach to combating malaria with genetically modified mosquitoes, we encourage you to share your insights on the development of these bioengineered insects. Do you believe this groundbreaking technology is the answer to reducing malaria cases, or do the potential risk outweigh the benefits? Your thoughts and opinions are valuable. Share them in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe to the new Africa channel.